Well, the end of the Chang'e 1 mission does not mean an end to China's ambitious lunar exploration project. In fact, it marks a new beginning with the successor of the probing satellite just coming out. Xu Jiaying has more. It looks very much like its predecessor, but the Chang'e 2 is not just a copy. It used to be a backup for the Chang'e 1. The new satellite is designed to fly 100 kilometers from the surface of the moon. That's half the distance closer than the Chang'e 1 could manage. The newcomer is also equipped with a digital charged coupled device or CCD camera with resolution of 10 meters. That means the satellite will let us see a much clearer picture of the moon. Our probe mission now advances to a more precise and accurate stage. It will lay the foundation for the moon landing of those that come after in the Chang'e series. Besides continuing the mission of its predecessor, the Chang'e 2 will be launched in 2011 to pave the way for the Chang'e 3, which will land on the moon with an unmanned rover. The Chang'e 2 will test the landing orbit of number 3. It will test our controls to ensure the landing of the Chang'e 3 is safe and it doesn't crash. Experts say the design of the Chang'e 3 is now finalized and is very different to that of its two predecessors. The satellite will carry out China's first moon landing in between 2012 and 2013. In 2018, as an earliest date, China will launch a moon space vessel that will transport lunar soil and rock samples back to the Earth. Xu Jiaying, CCTV.